speaks in New York City at the United Nations, speaker after speaker, from Mr. Khrushchev on, have spoken about the evils of colonialism. The Soviet Union today is the greatest colonial master in the world. And until they are ready to permit the people of Eastern Europe to have free elections and a free choice, then they stand indicted before world opinion. But in my visit in 1955, I visited Częstochowa and saw the Matka Boska and saw the free spirit of Poland. I think Poland will someday be free. But Poland will be free as long as we in the United States and all who believe in the cause of freedom maintain our conviction. I am a descendant of Irishmen who were under servitude and domination for 700 years. The Polish people will remain free as long as we are free, as long as we believe in their freedom. The Polish national anthem says, as long as you live, Poland lives. As long as we in the United States retain our conviction that someday not only will we maintain our freedom, but others shall also be free. Whether they live in Latin America, whether they live in Africa, whether they live in Asia, whether they live in Europe, or wherever they may live, they shall be free. That is the policy. This country's freedom was won by us, by the people of this country, and people who came from Europe, including distinguished Poles who came here to fight for freedom. The United States Congress gave those people who came to this country each a bequest, each an award. And Kosciuszko, who was the most celebrated of all of them, when he died, he left his entire American state, all the property he had in this country, to Thomas Jefferson. For what reason? To free the slaves. He believed that he could not be free until all men were free. And that is what we believe here today. Thomas Jefferson called the disease of liberty will be catching. Other people know that until we have been destroyed, their chance of independence is good. The reason the communists attack us is because they know when the United States fails, the cause of freedom fails. But as long as we maintain our strength, as long as we identify ourselves with the cause of independence, with the cause of liberty for ourselves and others, we and our generation can do for Poland what Kosciuszko and Pulaski and the others did for us in 1776.